there is an amazing story on a righteous man that he, after 120 years, he went back to heaven and over there they told him, oh, the rabbi, the genius, the famous, he couldn't understand what they're talking about. And they told him, come, let, let us show you the, the, your share in the world to come. You have so much to receive, like houses and houses, buildings, families, all belongs to you. He said, I was just a regular person. I didn't do anything special in my life. What are you talking about? Aren't you this and that? I told him his name, everything, uh, social security number. Yes, the same, everything. So why are you telling me I have thousands of students? I, I never taught no class, never taught no, no one. They told him, let's check everything. And they called all of the people that are written, that their names, all of their merits, all of their rights are, are written under his name, based on his name. And they asked them, is he your rabbi? One after the, after the other, they all said, yes, that's my rabbi, that's my rabbi. And he is humble and really don't recognize those people. He says, maybe that one, I saw him once, maybe that person, I don't know, it looks familiar, maybe from the neighborhood, something. Like and for sure they weren't my students. So the angels over there, the righteous people in heaven, they asked all of those people, why you say that he's your rabbi? Why? So one of them came with a story and said, we were standing one day in the grocery store waiting and someone pushed him. And when that person pushed him, so he was so humble and nice and he was smiling and he said, no, it's okay for sure, he's in a rush. And when people were upset and angry, why that person is pushing, he said, he relaxed them and told them, no, don't, don't, don't judge him like that. Maybe he's got his reasons, maybe his wife, she's in labor or something, you know, let him go, it's okay. And, and another person said that he saw him once, that person pray shacharit in, in the synagogue, in the Bet Knesset, and he was praying with, it was so glued to Hashem, so close to Hashem, and every word was, you, you could see his intention from, from his mouth, from his face, from his lips, how he was talking to Hashem, and he said, I saw him praying like that. I, I, I wanted to become like him. I wanted also to learn how to pray like that. And every one of them became his student. Means he learned from him, even that he was not teaching at all. He himself was just a regular person that was walking and learning and working. And but he had students. Means that people learned from him. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those hustles.